Amy Myers Jaffe. I am the Managing Director of the Fletcher School's Climate Policy Lab, and I'm a research professor here at the school. I'll be teaching this spring International Energy Policy, P255. Uh, it's a hybrid class, and what do I mean by hybrid? Uh, that means that actually most of the semester, sort of the whole content uh, of the class uh, is going to be remote. But when we get to the spring, and hopefully we're in a great place, um, for those students who want to, uh, we will do a simulation in person and we will do some of the policy briefing uh, exercises at the end of the year uh, in person. Um, I've talked to um, the powers that be about whether we might consider if it's a nice day in the spring doing some of it outside, uh, or if not, uh, we'll be in a large classroom. A uh, little bit about me. I began my career as a financial journalist. Um, I studied Arabic and Middle East history and politics in university. And uh, so I began my career writing about Arab finance. And then I got this job covering the international oil market, which I think at the time I took the job, I didn't even know what that meant. Um, and it was a wild ride. I was thinking at first it would be boring to write about this one commodity, um, but then it turned out that they were sending me to the OPEC meetings and I was traveling all around the world, talking about geopolitical issues, talking about conflicts among oil producing countries, talking about what makes the price of oil go up and down. And it turned out to be a pretty interesting job. And that's because in the end, energy touches pretty much everything we do. And, uh, and eventually um, I came to realize that really energy affects everything. It affects poverty, it affects sustainability, it affects um, uh, uh, daily life, mobility. And you know, we're, we are really in a conundrum now uh, with the energy problem. Uh, not only do we still have a billion people on the planet who have no access to modern energy, who are uh, without lighting, who are without heat, um, who cook with uh, basic materials like wood or dung. Um, but we also have this huge challenge of transitioning the energy system away from fossil fuels that create carbon emissions that are contributing to climate change. So a really huge challenge. Um, and over the course of my career, I've sort of moved with my understanding of that challenge. I became a professor um, in the 90s and wrote a lot about uh, oil and gas markets and geopolitics, um, taught uh, a similar international energy policy class at Rice University. Uh, but then as I got more interested and more knowledgeable about sustainability, um, I started to take our students to Africa and work on sustainability problems in other settings. And I became more and more interested in sustainability, um, began to teach classes on sustainability and then I pivoted my career, went out to California where I taught at the University of California, Davis, and did research and policy advising on alternative energy for the state of California and how to structure their climate uh, carbon pricing and their regulations for the transportation sector uh, to facilitate California's goals um, to reduce carbon emissions and, and meet their targets. Um, from there, I came back to the East Coast and I have been writing about climate change and uh, risk to financial markets to, from climate change and solutions to climate change uh, for the past seven years, pretty much exclusively. And I have a book coming out, which uh, if it's finally in print by the time we have class, I, maybe I'll squeeze it into the syllabus. It's called Energy's Digital Age. And that is about um, how new digital technologies like self-driving cars, 3D printing, um, battery storage, and small mini grids uh, are gonna help us lower emissions and get to a sustainable future. So what do I hope you get out of this class? Um, number one, I want you to gain proficiency in the sort of technical aspects of technologies, how do, we, what, 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 how do we think about energy and what's the magnitude of units? What's a BTU? What's a barrel 
in converted, uh, how, what, how do we count electricity in kilowatt hours, um, and have you, have you be familiar with your way around the data. Um, I want you to have a, a broad understanding of the major issues in energy policy, especially on the international side, understanding global trends, have an in-depth understanding of how energy intersects with the climate change problem. I know a lot of you are probably familiar with that, but we're gonna do a deeper dive on um, how current policies, technologies, and markets um, are uh, uh, being affected by climate change and the energy transition. Um, we can learn about the similarities and differences of policies between one country and another. And uh, I'm gonna hope that through the simulations and our class assignments, you're gonna strengthen your writing skills, um, strengthen your ability to do policy analysis um, and uh, have a little fun in the meantime. So how will you be graded? We will have a midterm. Uh, we will have two simulations uh, that will get a grade. Um, at the end of the semester, uh, everybody's gonna make a policy presentation. You'll be graded on that. And then your final assignment will be to um, write a policy memo. Um, which will be a, a good portion of your grade. So I look forward to uh, visiting with you. Um, I very hands-on, like to do my office hours, like to interact and know my students. I know this is a survey class, uh, but hopefully we can get to know each other even with the pandemic. Um, I will do my lectures in person. If there are a number of students that want me to record my my initial lecture part of the class so they can watch it at a different time. Um, we can talk about that together and agree on the first day. I'm happy to do that. And um, I'm looking forward to meeting you all. So sign up. <laughs>